Assalamu alaikum peoples. Welcome to this week computer lesson. I hope you enjoy last week lesson. This week we are going to learn about robotics. What do you understand by the word robotics? What are the end products of robotics? Robotics is defined as the use of electronic, mechanical, and software engineering to produce automated machines that will be used to perform certain functions. That means those machines were designed to help us do certain difficult tasks. Robotics is the processes involved in producing robots. Robots are programmable, automated, intelligent machines capable of carrying out risky, difficult, and dangerous tasks that humans will not undertake. Modern day robot was attributable to Henry Ford, who designed a conveyor belt in his factory to reduce the cost of producing a car. It's used to take days to produce cars before the conveyor belt, but to, after installation of the conveyor belt, it takes only 39 minutes to produce one. Karel Kape was the first man to use the word robot, gotten from his native language of Czech Republic. In his book of 1920, he explained robot as a machine that helps humans to do certain work. Lilliput was a robot produced in Japan in 1932. It is the first wind-up robot that worked by itself. In order to safeguard humans and to streamline robot production, the law of robots was promulgated in 1941. The law states, 1. A robot may not injure a human being or allow human to come to harm. The second law, a robot must obey orders or command given to it by humans. And the third law, a robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second law. In 1957, the Russians launched a spacecraft called Sputnik, the first artificial orbiting satellite. This marked the beginning of space exploration and research into the field of robotics. Types of robots and their uses. We have several types of robots, but for the purpose of this lesson, we'll talk about few. First, we'll talk about industrial robots. What is an industrial robot? Industrial robots are large robots used in factories to do hard work quickly and without many mistakes. They move heavy equipment as well as hot materials that humans cannot do in a mass production factory. Ordnance disposal robots. These are used by the army. They are used to detect bombs as well as dispose those bombs. It could not be done easily by humans because humans could lose their lives. But the robot could do it easily. Air robots are designed for flight. These are used by the film industry to take pictures and videos from the sky. It is also used by the military to detect enemies from the sky as well as for combat. It is also used for space exploration. Prosthetics Prosthetics are designed to serve as human body parts. They are to replace missing human body parts. They serve as legs, hands, etc. Surgical robots. Surgical robots are used in hospitals for keyhole surgeries. They are designed to reach places where human hands cannot reach. Automaton. Automaton, a machine designed to function automatically doing the same tasks over and over again. Now we have come to Android. Android not the telephone, the mobile phone. Android as a robot. 
these are designed to function as human beings they do the duties that human beings normally do they serve as hostel receptionists they serve as tour guide etc etc we have the cyborg cyborg are also known as cybernetic organisms they are partly biological partly artificial the artificial part consists of electronic or mechanical elements we have the hexapod the hexapod is designed to mimic the activities or function of insects especially the spider it is designed to move into terrain that other types of robots could not go we also have nanobots nanobots are designed specifically for the medical industry they are so tiny that they can fit into the human system we have the ball boats the ball boats are designed on a spherical wheel it is omnidirectional that means it doesn't have single direction and it is very agile in movements